Oh, no glove. I'll have to catch all the balls instead. Have fun. Yo, how's it going? I'll see you down there in a minute. So, what's up guys? Zach Hample here in Mexico City for the second and final game of this MLB series. Padres versus Giants, Alfredo Harpaloo Stadium. And man, these two teams put on a show yesterday. The baseballs really fly here 7,200 feet above sea level. And so as I mentioned in the video yesterday, there are commemorative balls being used during these games, but only during the games. And yesterday, I was in the outfield the whole time trying to catch home runs, and you wanna know how many I caught? Zero, frowny face. So still need the commemorative. Today, of course, hoping to snag a bunch before the game, and then I'll probably change up my strategy after that. So I'm just so excited to be here. I love these international games, the one-off venues. For me, this is like as fun as it gets. So let's get to it. It is so peaceful here inside the stadium, which is quite a contrast to the chaos outside the gates. Now, the good news is that the batting cage is set up for batting practice, but the bad news is that there are barely any players right now. Uh, I think there are a couple guys down the right field line. I got the Padres hat on because they're the home team and I anticipate that they'll be out first. So for right now, just kind of chilling. Can I get a picture with you? Thank you very much. Logan Webb on my ticket for today's game. That's pretty cool. Man, that is a lot of time on the pitch clock. We're going to be here all day. We're so happy. Believe me. Thank, Thank you, man. All right. All right. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Is that better? Which one do you like more? This one? All right. All right. All right. Not the sunny! Not the sunny! Say it! Say it! Hey, you make me do a research on that. the sunny. It's not the sunny, right? Not the sunny. Thank you. Wow. He said never the sunny. Mucho gusto agua. Is that right? No. I tried to say I like. <laughs> you said I. Nice to meet you, water. <laughs> Sorry, Mexico. I'm a dumb American. What can I say? How do you say I like water? Me gusta el agua. What did I say? You said mucho gusto agua. Oh, man. All right. Well, I'll stick to what I do best, catching baseballs. A lot of running around today and switching hats. And yeah, check out this nice little root 
from left field to right field or right to left. All right. never want to get shut out, especially when I'm in such a cool place like Mexico City. And it was pretty fun that security was staring at me and encouraging me. They just had no idea what that cup trip was all about. Normally in the States, you get yelled at 90% of the time for trying something like that. But here, they were like, hey, go for it. So good vibes all around. It seems like batting practice is going to get started soon because all the screens have been rolled into place. Why else would they have done that? But I mean, it's, it's getting a little bit crowded and no one's hitting. So it's just going to make it harder to catch balls. But again, on the board, big sigh of relief. Still need that commemorative though. Alright, 
the first group of Giants BP is done. And after things really got going, the only ball I got was that cup trick, which was a whole lot of fun. And I was moving all over the place. There are lefties, there are righties in this group, and guys can hit balls anywhere. Everybody's shouting because this ball's about to get tossed up. We'll wait for it for one second. Yeah, so just follow me this way for a second. You can see how crowded it is. I mean, where am I supposed to go to get an advantage, right? But, you know, there's another group just starting up, so we'll see. So the Giants did not hit a ton of home runs during BP today, but my god, they were throwing a ton of baseballs. So thanks to them for being very generous. There were lots of balls to go around, but unfortunately in their final group, I got nada. So I finished BP with four. Would have been a lot higher if the Padres had hit, but you know, they probably figured, look, we hit six dingers yesterday and scored 16 runs. I think we'll take the day off. So don't really blame them for that. And right now we have about 45 minutes until game time. So here's the plan. First of all, I'm gonna dance. That's enough of that. Uh, next, I'm going to change out of this gear. After that, I just want to capture a little bit of the views from the last row of the upper deck. Uh, then I want to head downstairs, get some food, and then wander into foul territory, see if I can find a way to get a commemorative baseball at some point today. So, here we go. Check out these gorgeous views. Well, first of all, look at this money because, you know, for me, this is very exciting and exotic. But, of course, especially looking forward to stuffing my face. Oh. Mm. Now, I was warned by the locals that this sauce is very spicy, so we'll see how much I regret this. <laughs> I like spicy food, but up to a certain point. So far, so good. Yeah. Come on, locals. Don't scare me. Sauce is good stuff. Mm. Oh yeah, by the way, just got a whole nother box of these things. These tacos, I just heard from a fan. They're historic. They're like the signature dish of the Diablos that play here. Um, it's like an 80 year old recipe that's traveled with them. I'm making a mess for like three different stadiums. So like, how am I not gonna just go completely crazy and eat these things? Wait, do we have to go up here? I guess we go up here.
Carlos Pérez, Mariachi, es mi país. some desserts for free. This is one of them. And it looks like cardboard. Oh, that, that was a weak ass move right there. So, do you want to try some? Sure, let's try it. Hopefully it tastes better than it looks. something that is just so sad. It's almost unbelievable. Like, an inning or so ago, some people down the row, some different people, were buying beers. So the vendor gave me a beer to pass it down, pass it down. I took my glove off, had the beer in my hand. At that moment, a lefty hit a foul ball. Exactly right here. One row in front of me, on the stairs. Um, I dropped the beer, made an attempt to catch the ball. Didn't even touch it because people stood up. But like, that is such bad luck, you guys, because if I'm sitting here with my glove, I mean, either one of us makes that catch a hundred times out of a hundred, so, yeah, <laughs> pretty much. I'm going to continue to eat my sorrows away. Here, how's more? Okay.
So, top of the eighth inning right now, Giants still on top, four to three. And I'm giving up on the third base side. I'm just not coming close to anything there. I'm gonna see if I can get closer to home plate, maybe try to get an umpire ball at the end of the game. You know, it's worth a shot, right? So, let's do it. Vamos Padres! The Padres are just too good. Late inning rally, they're now up six to four. Top of the ninth, just a few outs to go. So we'll see how this thing wraps up. And then I'm gonna be trying to get right down there. It's a little bit crowded, but I think that's my last chance to get one of those special balls. Well, I don't even know what to say at this point, but I'm sure you guys could see it by the look on my face. Such a feeling of relief when I got that commemorative baseball down by the dugout after the Padres won this thing by the score of six to four. A Padres coach after the game was reaching into the ball bag and chucked out a whole bunch. So most of my friends here also got this commemorative. Ah! <laughs> the logo is pretty cool. I like that it's all text. There aren't too many baseballs that look like that. You can just see a nice close-up version right here. And I will link in the description for this video to a page on my website where I have all the different commemorative baseballs that I've gotten over the years. I'll also throw a link there to some videos that I've done about my autographed ticket stub collection since I did get one of my tickets signed. Shout out to Logan Webb. And uh, yeah, this was my fifth total of the day, and including the ones that I gave away. That brings the lifetime total to 12,111. One, two, 
one, one, one. That's kind of cool. So what a great way to end my time here in Mexico. People are so friendly. I always have such a great time here. I was here five years ago in Monterrey. I'll link to those videos in the description. There'll be a whole lot of stuff there for you to check out. So, ah. Uh, that's, that's basically it. I, I just gotta blow off some steam. Thanks for watching. Bye.